City and county mayors are on opposite sides of the South Broad Stadium project. Hamilton County Mayor Weston Womp continues his battle against the project by hosting a community town hall that's going on this hour. Chattanooga Mayor Tim Kelly, who supports the project, said he hopes to attend the meeting, but neither he nor the project's developers were invited to speak at this event. Grayson Gordon has talked with leaders on both sides of the issue. Grayson, what do you have for us? David, we were able to speak with Mayor Womp, and we had some questions for Mayor Kelly following that interview, but unfortunately he was not available for an interview today. But here's what we know right now about the cost and the funding. Mayor Kelly tweeted saying new incremental property taxes within the tax increment financing, or TIF, will be used for the stadium. And the project website says any city and county funds used for the stadium will be paid from economic development or hotel motel taxes. The stadium project is um, very controversial. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people in different parts of the county on both sides of the issue. The project's website says 12 acres of land was given for free. The landowners and lookouts will provide 40 million, donate nine more acres of land, and contribute 15 million worth of infrastructure. The lookouts will pay more than 75 million over 30 years to rent, operate, and maintain the stadium. We spoke with Mayor Womp this week, who claims the initial cost of the project has increased by more than 50% of the original estimated cost in less than two years. And nothing has happened except the price has gone up by $59.5 million. We asked Mayor Kelly to confirm the cost increase and give us a reason behind the skyrocketed price tag. He has not responded to our questions. The project's website says the redevelopment's first phase is expected to attract more than $300 million in private investment to build multifamily buildings with hundreds of units in an office building. It also says it is expected to generate more revenue than necessary to pay down the bond used to fund the stadium construction within a year. The developers have made huge promises uh, far beyond any development that's ever taken place here. So there's certainly a lot of risk in trusting that the developers will pull off what they're promising. The town hall started at 530 and we will have coverage of that event tonight. Mayor Kelly says none of the Southside Project's developers or the city's mayor office was offered the opportunity to present at the town hall. And we were told Mayor Kelly would be there tonight, but we've only seen a representative from his office. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Mr. Gordon, Local 3 News.